Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and I have a special guest with me today. Can you guess from the hands? <laughs> this is my husband, Adam. Hello again. You, he's been here before. Um, so if you guys are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, I am guessing some of you may have found your way here from the Christmas premiere event that um, Pippa has put together. Thank you so much, Pippa, for organizing this. Is this the third year in a row? Um, but if you're not familiar with how these work, premieres, um, this will go live at a specific time. And if you're watching this live, be sure that you click on the live chat uh, button so that you can hang out and chat with the other people that are here while this is live. And if you're watching this on the replay, um, feel free to comment along. We're going to be doing some tag questions together. So I was thinking through like, what could we do that would just be a really fun way to spend some time together um, on Christmas day. And I swear I didn't mean for that to rhyme on purpose, but we'll go with it. Liar. Liar. <laughs> uh, so I had seen my very sweet friend, Laura over at Anxiety <clears throat> Art Adventures, um, put up a video where she and her husband, who incidentally, his name is Adam, uh, answered some tag questions together and so I was chatting with her and asked like I said all right if Adam and I do the same thing and she's like yeah I can't wait to see what you know you guys do so um I also just wanted to send lots and lots of love and warmth your way um one of the main reasons that uh, Pippa organizes these each year and why so many creators love to participate is just because we know that the holidays are not easy for everyone. They don't look the same for everyone. And um, no matter what you're up to, if you just want some company on Christmas or Christmas Eve, I hope that this helps you feel a little bit less alone. So um, we're just going to kind of do this whip and chat style where I'll be working on my one of my diamond painting projects. Adam is going to be... I'm doing research uh, <laughs> for uh, some uh, tech stuff. So right now I'm doing research on uh, possibly a, a new camera. I'm leaning towards the Fujifilm X-T30... Uh, uh, two, which comes out, uh, well, is technically out, but gets goes back into stock in January. If anybody knows anything about that camera or similar uh, mirrorless or DSLR 4K cameras, uh, uh, do please uh, leave comments and tell me things. <laughs> yes, Adam is our resident tech person, film, all things film. So I'm, I am all of the above. <laughs> Maybe I'll get him to <clears throat> hop in the premiere live chat with me on Christmas day. <laughs> we'll see. So feel free to whip out your whip. <laughs> you can work alongside us. Is that what they say? That's what I say. Oof. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, Locked and no. reported. <laughs> mods, mods, <laughs> quick. I need an adult. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's jump into the tag questions. And like I said, you guys feel free to uh, hop in the live chat or in the comments if you're watching the replay and you can answer along with us. So in the theme of film, which we were just talking about, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard. I knew you were going to say that. Go ahead. I can hear you people typing. It is a Christmas movie. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to even get into it. That's what it is. Alan Rickman. Aw, moment of silence. I saw I saw a great uh, uh, tweet the other day where somebody pointed out to say, if you watch Love Actually and then immediately watch Die Hard, <laughs> Alan Rickman gets his comeuppance for what he did to Emma Thompson in Love Actually. <laughs> oh, man. I like the concept of Die Hard as a sequel to Love Actually. That's incredible. Seems like a good palate cleanser. Yeah. Yeah, which incidentally, though, I would probably say that I don't care how stereotypical <coughs> and basic it makes me. Like, Love Actually will probably always be my favorite Christmas movie. But Elf is a close second. We haven't watched Elf. We haven't watched that recently. We haven't watched any of those movies this season. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are we going to? We should. I mean, I'm going to watch Die Hard. <laughs> Do we own Die Hard? Oh, yeah, I have the. Well, I have, have my DVD, collection? I believe. I don't think I have the Blu ray sets. DVD. What is this? I think. This? Oh, hush. 
uh, it might be worth just going ahead and buying a digital copy so to have it in 4K. But I mean, it's it's diehard. It's diehard. It's good. It's good no matter how you're watching it. Now I will go ahead and tell you, please. We have to keep this clean. It is Christmas after all. You can't quote the movie because one of the other tag questions is, "What's your favorite line from a Christmas movie?" Uh, <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Kaye Don Peters. Oh my gosh! Like I said, keeping it clean. It's family night. <laughs> it's family night. If you are a parent no cursing. of a boy, <laughs> you probably know exactly what movie we just quoted. Our boy's uh, favorite movie of all time that like we could quote the entire... At this point, we could quote the entire movie start to finish. Um, yeah. We have two kiddos. It's, it's really fun to do the holidays with them. Um, we have a three and a six-year-old, and... Um, I have turned into that mom. Adam informed me that I have turned into that mom where it was like starting three or four months before Christmas. Anytime anyone like asked for something like a toy or a gadget, I'm like, put it on your Christmas list. <laughs> and you were like, you can't do that. No, you can't. Um, so we'll see what Santa brings. All right. Next tag questions. <laughs> Again, we're going to keep it clean. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> you have to ask Santa. I, yeah. Gotta ask, gotta ask Santa. Um, I've seen that Supernatural episode. <laughs> oh, I boy. Like to, I like to think that I'm on the nice list, but that's it's all. That's just part of my brand. Uh... <laughs> I don't. I, I, I okay. plead the fifth, Santa. <laughs> See if you get coal. So, so Santa was under duress. <laughs> Here's a fun one. Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. <laughs> Is that my noise? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> do I get to elaborate or do I have to stop there? Go ahead and elaborate, just for fun. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get to an, to an hour of content, <laughs> so. I mean, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, I mean, it's, there's just, there's, there's a lot of, uh, lot to do still and lots of travel and, and, you know, traveling with the kiddos is always a yeah. adventure, but, uh, there's a lot to look forward to also. Yeah. So, um. Uh, but so that's why yeah. <laughs> mostly happy, but yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, it's, I mean, if you've, if you've been around a little bit and have seen any of like my whip and chats, you've heard me share pretty candidly about, um, mental health and how this year has been really difficult for me. And, um, I just am kind of like, I'm not in the Christmas spirit. I'm not feeling it. But I'm getting there. We're getting there. Um, the tree is actually up. <laughs> I'll count that as a win. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how the kids react to everything on Christmas morning. I'm, I'm definitely nervous about the travel. We're flying cross country with the kids. But I just keep reminding myself that, like, the older they get, like, the easier it gets. <laughs> it's like, you know... We'll, we'll survive. Um, this is a tough one. What is the best present you've ever received? Best? Yeah. I would say either from your ch either childhood or adult life. Like, you could just any time. We're going to have, might have to come back to that one. That's a best present ever. As a kid, it was definitely the Nintendo 64 that my parents got for my brother and I after years of begging for it. And it was a group gift. <laughs> the thinking Christmas. That yeah. was the only the only time I've ever been gifted a system is when uh, Katie got me the uh, Xbox One for the for my birthday in 2014, I think. So uh, mm. I've always had to buy them myself, mm. otherwise. <laughs> Except when I got uh, Nintendo uh, original Nintendo from uh, my dad diner club po diners club points when I was a kid. Anybody old enough to remember Diners Club points? Oh gosh. 
That's a story. Given, I'll leave that for given the usual the the average demographic, the average age of the crafting community, I think there's a decent chance that <laughs> some people will remember Dyer's Club points. Well, were they children though? Yeah. I, like I was. Maybe. Did they get an NES know. from it? Uh, Came with four games and the light gun for Duck Hunt. There you go. Uh, that I don't think was a Christmas gift. I can't. I don't. I have a hard time remembering what I got for for what things and what things I okay. I bought when I was a kid versus what things I. You know, it's it's hard to keep track of. Sure. So it's really hard for me to to, to say. Um, well, the the follow up question to this one is like, what's the worst gift? I and I feel like we could just turn this into like, do you have any funny like Christmas gift stories in general? Like, unless you think of something because that you would call like your worst gift ever. Because for me, I immediately thought of how one of my uncles, my rather eccentric eccentric uncles, one year decided to get me and a couple of my cousins BB guns for Christmas, which in and of itself isn't necessarily problematic until you realize that we were four years old when he decided to get us BB guns for Christmas (laughs) and he had not asked our parents about it. So I could still very distinctly remember my parents seeing the shape of the package and like immediately spiriting it away and me being like wait like didn't that have my name on it and they were like it's just no like (laughs) no (laughs) we'll tell you we'll talk to you about it later but he that uncle had a a way of doing that sort of thing like just getting really interesting gifts without checking in with the parents first (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna defer on this question. Okay, also. that's fair. I just because I thought I, I thought of reasons. the funny story. Um, okay, rename a reindeer. If you could rename a reindeer. Uh, let's see. We got Dasher. Uh, of course, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer. Yeah, and I'm gonna smack you. Counter Cupid, Downer and Blitzen. But do you recall? The most famous reindeer of all. Randolph. Gary. Gary the reindeer. (laughs) Gary. Uh, I could be like super cheesy and be like, I'd rename one of them Micah because there's already a Connor and there needs to be a Micah in there. There's not a Connor, it's a Donner. Is it not a Connor? No, it's not a Connor. I don't know my reindeer. I thought you said Cupid and... Donner. And then Donner and Blitzen. I could also rename Blitz into Blitzkrieg. That would be fun. <laughs> yes. We're a little worried about that Blitz that it. particular reindeer's um, yeah. uh, political views. Change Blitz into just Blitzed. Blitz, He's just... Blitzed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. That's the eggnog. Do you like eggnog? That was actually one of the tag questions. Do you like eggnog? I don't think so. I think I tried it once and was not really yeah. into it. If you I'd... spike it, I'll probably drink it. Isn't? I don't think it's generally spiked. Is isn't eggnog? What alcohol? Like I thought that was just by nature an alcoholic. I think that varies. Well, I have this handy dandy in the chat. Tell us. <laughs> um, I think it often is, but I don't think it has to be. Let's see what Google has to say. As it turns out, there is alcohol in standard eggnog, but most of the stuff you'll find in the carton at grocery stores is alcohol-free. So, uh, basically what I said. <laughs> yeah, and then... It, it is and isn't. <laughs> yeah. Merriam-Webster defines eggnog as a drink made of eggs beaten with sugar, milk, or cream, and often alcoholic liquor. Yeah, that's, that's, so it's very common, yeah. but not, it's not a given. I think you just, you gotta read the label, I guess. Depends on where you are and what kind of party it is. I guess. Um, I don't know. I think I've I, tasted it once or twice before, and it's not my cup of tea either. At a holiday party I was at on um, Saturday, I respiked the uh, I respiked the uh, the juice because it wasn't spiked enough. I mean, it it was it was called okay. So I get there, and the sign says jingle juice but it's with a g because it's gin it's jingle ah, juice i see I, I didn't understand it Clever. i just i turned to the hostess i said gin gingle juice <laughs> she was very offended 
Um, but we determined uh, that sounds like a Pinterest. The group, the group like determined that, that there was not enough gin in that, so I was I respiked it. But, I was just going to ask: Was this like a group decision, or were you just like standing over there, like sneakily pouring? No, in? no. We, actually, she went out of the room, and the rest of us were in there, and then I was trying to do it before she came back. Uh, but the reason that she made it that way was because she made it too heavy at the, at our, the Halloween party, and we all got a little more sloshed than we intended. Yeah, um, no one Because people, I didn't know the people at this party. I hadn't met them before. They, but they were telling me that. I was like, oh, she made it weaker because apparently she was, she was nervous because uh, she made it too strong at some party before. I was like, yeah, no, I remember that party. Or you don't. Pretty well, <laughs> I think. That's funny. Well, there you go. All right. Um... Let's see. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? Excited? Yeah. I don't start getting excited for Christmas usually until like we're into December. Okay. Like like a week or two into December. Yeah. Or, or You're even like in further. The Christmas spirit then, yeah. I, yeah, it's it's I, I I get grumpy when it starts too early. You I like Christmas, grumpy. but I just I don't want it to just last forever and I there's a lot about it that can be very trite or just like i get sick of the commercials really really quickly mm. i get tired of watching people give each other's cars for christmas like absolute lunatics um here let me make this major financial decision and who does that and purchase who without does that? have you ever been have you ever walked outside on christmas morning and had a car with a bow on it maybe if you like if like Maybe if your parents had done that oh. for you, it, depending on what kind of family you grew up with, what kind of means you had. But like, did you have you ever walked outside and your significant other has like just given you a car, a brand new car? And was it a surprise? And was it a surprise? And if so, explain to us your life <laughs> from the beginning. That's a lot of disposable income to have. It's insane. <laughs> Um, and I saw one the other day that was even worse. It was like, look, I got one for you and for me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was like an SUV, too. That's like 60 grand. Mm. Easily. Well, and we're the type of people that, like, we did the Dave Ramsey thing. We drive. We never bought a new car. We never bought a that new car. That may never happen in my life. We buy I'm used. Okay with that. We do our consumer reports research, like the nutcases we are, and... Uh, we've never had a car payment. But it's one thing so. to buy a new car. It's another thing to, like, like can, can you even do that? How would you even do that? How would your spouse not know? That's you get, crazy. like, the, like, you know, credit report, like, mon yeah. credit monitoring, like, that notification. Stuff. Zero down, I guess. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. Where did you Let's find the time? Where did you find the time? Do you know what it takes at the dealer to sign all those papers? <laughs> You can tell that we're a little bit logistics minded over here. <laughs> I have so many questions. Uh, so many questions. It's, it's a plot hole. It's a plot hole a in those plot commercials. Hole. A plot hole. It wouldn't bother me so much if it wasn't such a like standard now. It's like all these car commercials in the holidays, people walking out. Also, they're walking outside Christmas morning and like there's little flurries, but there's no snow actually like on the ground. Mm. <laughs> or piling or piling up on the car. It's like mm. how where do these people live that this is how it behaves? What's one of those states that's supposed to be like perfect for that? Like that kind of like weather and stuff is like Colorado or something? I don't know. Not Colorado. I don't, I'm just making stuff up now. Um, anyway, that was... Anybody here thing. from Colorado? <laughs> do you think that your state is the, the perfect... Do you state? have perfect weather for <laughs> Christmas? Um, after you take into account, you know, global warming and how that's affected your typical winter. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see. Ooh, this is a hot topic. Real or fake Christmas tree? This oh. this was the subject of many an argument. I, should we should we skip this one because this could cause problems? <laughs> no, that's why we have to do we it. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, so, oh boy. This was fun. Uh, before we even got married. So, Adam, I still remember, like, one of the very first Christmases we spent together. I think I, I went to go help you pick out a Christmas tree for, like, your parents. Like, you and I went to go pick out the Christmas tree for your parents' house. And 
I remember you were so disdainful at the idea of having a fake Christmas tree. You were like, a fake Christmas tree means you have a fake Christmas or something <laughs> like that. And I was like... I probably said that, yeah. Yeah, I think pretty sure you said that. Um, and I was like, but I, like, my family's always had a fake Christmas tree. We've had the, we had the same Christmas tree. My parents had the same fake Christmas tree for, like, 25 years. And so I was trying to describe to Adam, like... You've been having the same Christmas for 25 years. You know what? That's not what it is. There's a nostalgia factor. Like, oh, like, it's, we're getting out the same tree. It has the same, like, quirks. Like, it (laughs) just, it's... It's, I don't know, familiar. It's just the same way that, like, we had the same Christmas stockings. Like, our whole, basically our whole, like, childhood. Because <laughs> my mom had cross-stitched them um, when we were babies. And so it was just one of those things that, like, maybe my family was more about sort of those year-over-year traditions. And, I mean, your family was, but I think you... From what you've told me, like you just you guys just generally placed a little less emphasis on on that sort of thing. Where we had a lot of things that were consistent in the same year to year. Like traditions and Ours stuff. Ours had to be were... yeah, because of all the moving around and, and trying to get all the schedules lined up and everything. So yeah. we had we initially had some things that were pretty um <clears throat> consistent, but uh things yeah, got uh a lot more uh fluid uh the longer we went. Um, but, uh, like, yeah, but we had, we always got, uh, we always, always got a real tree. That was part of the tradition. That was one of the few things, like, that were, like, was, like, it was, like, a family tradition. We all go to Home Depot or whatever and, um, pick out a tree together and, um, and then, you know, strap strap it to the car and then we all, we take it home and get it in the house and set it up and we take turns watering it and putting everything on it that night and so it's, like, you know, it's a, it's a, it was a whole thing, and and the smell of the tree was just like the smell of Christmas, like, um, like it was just, it was just that was that was like a huge part for me of feeling like it's Christmas time. So getting a, a box down from the from the attic or from the garage and unpacking what is not a real tree and then just like setting it up like that just felt so wrong to me. <laughs> And you were so disdainful. <laughs> you were, like, disgusted. <laughs> but so early on, like, in our marriage, it was actually more for sake of budget than anything because we were so dead broke for so, 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 so long. Um, it was like, we can't afford to buy a real tree, so we're going to... Or, sorry, a fake tree. So we'll get a real one. But I was, I was grumpy about it every single year because I was like... <laughs> There's pine needles and sap everywhere, and it was always like... There was not sap everywhere. Well, whenever you, like, had to, like, pick up the tree and, like, do... And then disposing of the tree was a whole hassle because out here they, like... They do pick up. Well, but that was the kicker is they only did pick up in a really Sometimes short window. Pickup. And when we traveled for Christmas... You talked like you had to do the drop-off. I did the drop-off. I, I went with you. Sometimes. Anyway... <laughs> Can you tell that this is a sore subject? <laughs> but then... Thanks a lot for bringing that up. <laughs> we gotta give some entertainment, right? Uh, but no, then after we had kids and I was just like, I can't deal with this. We And we ended up getting an artificial tree. Um but I, Adam brought up, he's like, it'd be nice if we could do a real tree again. I said, well, what do you think about, because we have this nice, like, back patio area. I'm like, what if we went and got, like, a real tree, like, maybe a smaller real tree or something, and set that up in the backyard and, like, decorate, blah, blah, blah. like, we put lights on it and stuff. Like, our some of our neighbors have trees in their backyard, and it, like, uh, with lights and stuff, and the kids really like looking at that, so that could be, like, a compromise <laughs> like just keep, keep the pine needles outside <laughs> such a curmudgeon I am I am I am such a scrooge about Christmas trees I'm like that's messy she doesn't like nature being uh, inside nature belongs outside <laughs> alright um, so 
You don't even want to go outside where the nature is. That's true. I can't take my diamond painting house. <laughs> I can take my phone outside, though. Yeah, that's true. Wi-Fi's <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, internet's everywhere now. <laughs> I hope you're all enjoying reading about the uh, H265 codec with me. <laughs> I hope you've learned something. hope you've learned something today. I didn't you say this was going to be interesting. You thought you came here for crafting. <laughs> interesting research. Okay, so... Um, did you leave out food for Santa when you were growing oh, yeah. up? And what did you leave out? Uh, the usual? Christmas cookies. Okay. The ones we decorated. Cutouts? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sugar that, cookies, yeah. Yeah. Love and, sugar. um, uh, carrots for the reindeer. Mm-hmm. And milk. And milk. We did the same, but we also, we left out a little cup of sugar for the reindeer as well. And, um, yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna... This this will be this will be a child safe premiere, but that's what we left out for Santa, and that's what our kids leave out for Santa: is cookies and milk and carrots for the reindeer. I feel like sometimes Santa wrote us a little note too. Yes, Santa did leave us notes sometimes too. It was very cute. Uh, who is your favorite person to buy presents for? And it is okay if it's not me. I promise. Favorite person to buy presents mm-hmm. for. I love buying presents for the kids. Like they're yeah, just fun. Right now, Connor for. in particular. Yeah. Um, Mikey gets a little older. He'll be fun, more fun too, yeah. to buy presents for because he will just have more, be able to express more. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, uh, like, no, it's Connor's really fun to buy presents for. He likes to open open them up and see what they are. He wants to open them right away. And no, it's like it's a bit like being a kid again through his yeah. eyes. So. It's lots. It's so much fun. Yeah. <clears throat> so at the moment the, the kids the kids that feels yeah. like a cop out answer but it's true yeah they're the ones that I like legitimately that's who I get excited for they're the ones that like I'm out shopping they're the first ones that I had gifts bought for this year because <laughs> they're just they're easy also can I say myself I like buying myself gifts I buy myself more gifts at uh, Black Friday than You're anybody else. You're such a stereotypical guy by the way like I wait I wait all year until the Black Friday sales mm-hmm. For a lot of things. No, no. Thing, yeah, but I was just going to say, machine. I was just going to say that you're like a lot of, like, dads. I feel like the stereotype is dads. Dads are really difficult to buy for because they we buy usually, stuff for they ourselves. Just, yeah, they're like, <laughs> if they want the thing, they buy the I have thing. lists. You do have lists. I've been sending you stuff that isn't on the list also. You have. That is affordable. Mm-hmm. You have. I have. You have. I have. I, I didn't say you did. <laughs> I heard the mm, attitude. Mm. Yeah, that. Uh, we've been married for 11 years. So this is our, well, after you count the Christmases we spent together, like dating and engaged. 15. 15? Mm-hmm. Yeah. First Christmas was 2006. Nice. Or at least it was like right after Christmas. We weren't officially dating. No. <laughs> that first Christmas. But I came, to, you, I came to your house. I think you did, visited my house too. Did we? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember if that happened. In 2006? Yeah. I did. Okay. Trust me. I just had a funny it memory. It happened. <laughs> I just had a memory. You're thinking what I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking, someone, people. Someone else that you spent time Get with your... over that Christmas break. Oh, no, no, that one. <laughs> we weren't... We weren't... We weren't official. dating. We weren't official. It was new. We had just met. It's fine. I was 17. No, I was 18 by that Christmas. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> I, I skipped a grade, so I was 17 when I went to college. Whoops. It was new, people. We were just <laughs> met, We like, a few months before. <sighs> okay, here's a fun one. When you don't like a present, are you honest or do you pretend to like it? And do you have the poker face to pull off pretending to like it? <sighs> I feel like it depends. I usually, yeah, I mean, I generally, like, I'm, I try to be appreciative Somebody gets me a gift. So. Like, it's it truly is, like, the thought that counts. I never turn to somebody and tell them that they've given me a bad gift. That's, you don't do that. True. Um, so, I don't, like, lie about it either. Um, and that's where the poker face thing gets tricky. Because um, I want to find something. I be honest, but like I don't want to be say mean. About it. So, yeah. yeah. So, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I don't tell people, like, that they've done something wrong or. That I don't, you know, You're a good person. want it or something. But yeah. um, I also, like, you know, don't, you know, 
gush about something if I don't feel like gushing about it. Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> you find a tactful way. I don't think you need to lie about it. It's like, it's sure. kind of like when someone asks your opinion on how they look in something. It's like, you know, in clothes or something. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to uh, necessarily lie, That's... but you, you know, there's a, <laughs> you, you also don't just like say the first thing that comes to your mind necessarily either, so. <laughs> Um, let's see. This is fun. This is cute. I feel like this could be a fun one for the chat, too. Uh, do you usually buy your pets presents for Christmas? Like, did you ever get presents for pets growing up? When you were growing up? I feel like I remember, did you wrap, do you guys wrap do dog bones? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, usually. Yeah. I think Jingles usually, our cat usually got a present. Yeah, I think just one. Okay. I don't think we ever we've ever bought our cats presents, but I do remember. I feel like we bought tenant presents when we had him. I don't know. Yeah, no, we did. We definitely did. It's it's fun for the dogs, especially when it's like a treat or something, because they'll rip it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but cats like wrapping paper too. So. That I remember wasn't. It? Yeah. Yeah, I'm remembering Sayota like tearing. Oh, the totally. Wrapping paper. Well, he would also like when you're done. He just wants to sit on it. So. Yeah. It makes good sounds. Yeah. It's like that webcomic that you showed me of the, like, the dog got the cat. Just the bag. Just empty bag. And the cat's just, just like, like, I love, I love it. it. It's perfect. Cats and bags. <laughs> um, have you ever seen the tree at Rockefeller Center? Mm-hmm. Sure you have. See? You did. You went to... I did a Christmas in New York. My sister lives in New York. And once we uh, did our actual whole Christmas there, um, we had a, a place to stay and... Uh, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun doing Christmas in New York. Christmas in New York is really something. I bet that would be really, yeah, like really special, like yeah. a really cool place to spend Christmas. Yeah, no, and yeah, being it was it's in, there were part parts of it that were kind of crazy uh, packed, and the tree was definitely one of them. But uh, uh, but it was pretty neat to see. And I've never been to New York City, so I need to remedy that at some point. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to see something like that. Kind of a springboard question from that is, is there anywhere that like, if, if money were no object, logistics were no object, uh, is there anywhere that like you would love to spend Christmas sometime? Like anywhere in the world? Somewhere I'd love to spend Christmas? Yeah, like just to like spend the holidays. Like I'm picturing like... Not really something I've thought about. I'm picturing like... Um, like in Europe, they're like when we were in France on the vision trip, like there were Christmas markets that were so neat to walk through and just how everything was decorated. I feel like this is something I would need to research. Where would be a good place to do Christmas? Thinking about different parts of the world that I want to go and whether like Christmas would be a cool thing there. The, ta the thing to do? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I have lots of international viewers, so maybe they'll chime in and be like, come visit me here. Yes. Tell, tell me us. where the best places in the world are at Christmas. <laughs> So something like unique or fun that happens where you live at Christmas that's like local to you or whatnot. Now, 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 I'm, now I'm thinking about this. Where would be a great place to go have Christmas? Anywhere in the world. I think I just want to go back to France in general. <laughs> I think that's why I'm like just France. Let's go back to France. <laughs> Christmas in Mexico. Uh, they, have, they have a lot of traditions. Oh, yeah. Like a ton of traditions. I bet another one my sister has experienced mm -hmm. um so yeah maybe like mexico city mexico city yeah it's not too tourist trappy <laughs> yeah no that would be that would be different that's like uh it's not like a new york christmas that would be more like kind of experiencing you know more like the, cultural yeah it'd be really interesting and, yeah. and neat to to witness and be a part of so yeah that's a good idea um do you prefer giving gifts or getting gifts and it's okay. I won't think you're a bad person when you say getting gifts. Oh, getting, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I'm the gift, Gifting is not my, my uh, strongest area. It's just not something that I think about a lot. So, you know, I give people gifts, um, but I don't, uh, you know, I pretty much do it when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> or if I see something, like, really specific for sure. somebody. But, like, it's it's just, it's rare for me to buy gifts for people like that you feel like it's like oh this is the perfect thing for this person yeah it's, yeah. it's hard for me to 
shop for people, and it's just not sure. it's not something that's in my um, uh, in my bones, as it were. But uh, yeah. Whereas I love giving gifts, especially if I've managed to find something that I'm like, this really made me think of this person, and I'm so excited for them to get it and to you know see what they think and stuff. Um, of course, I love getting gifts as well, but like I get so much joy from giving, from giving gifts. We're, that makes us a bad match, really, <laughs> or good match. Yeah, yeah. give me stuff. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, it, it, but frankly, like, you know, it, that was more of a kid thing. Like, I mean, oh, sure. more as a kid. Like, for me now, I don't, like, think a lot about what I'm going to get. Like, and I do enjoy yeah. giving, honestly. Um, when, especially when it's something that I really feel like I, I found, like, a really good thing for that person. But, yeah. um, so, you know, honestly, like, probably, like, this Christmas is going to be more giving. But, um. Like, can't wait to as see an what the adult, kids think. Overall. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite holiday song, Christmas or holiday song? Hmm. Oh, uh, I always liked Oh Holy Night. Yes, that's what I was thinking of too. Yeah. There's something that's so powerful about that. I really enjoy the music of that song. Yeah. I really enjoy the, a lot of really good renditions of that song. Mm-hmm. Um... I yeah I, I I like I actually do enjoy Christmas music generally, um, even that's that's one of the reasons I get kind of scroogey if it comes on too early because I want to enjoy it at Christmas yeah, around right Christmas I don't want to yeah get burned out on it mm-hmm. so um, and there are Christmas songs that I'm not crazy about but um, what is your least favorite Christmas song and why is it All Silver, I Want for Christmas Is You by no, Mariah it's Carey it's not. <laughs> that's a classic <laughs> oh is it <laughs> yes don't don't you come at Mariah. Mariah. Several people are typing, Katie. <laughs> Mariah was staring at me in the McDonald's drive through the other the last it's night. It's on the bag. I know. Anyway. Like, uh, when you place your order at McDonald's, because, yes, we got the kids' Happy Meals last night. You place your order at McDonald's, and the screen changes, and it's a picture, heavily photoshopped, clearly, of Mariah saying, like, you've made a great choice with your order. And I'm like, Mariah is really giving her stamp of approval of my McDonald's order. <laughs> But no, I know what your least favorite uh, Christmas song is. What is it? Silver bells. Yeah, silver yeah. bells. Like, what is uh, this even? <laughs> uh, I don't like the. I don't like the the pace of it. I don't like the. It's. I. It's. It's dull and it's. I don't. What's it? What's it even about? It's about shopping, <laughs> and they make it sound like it's this super relaxing. Oh, we got him started. Thing, and like it doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas, except that people are shopping. Yeah, what, what even is that? So like, and they're t- and none of it's applicable to today. It's like maybe it made sense in the fifties or whenever, but like the uh, yeah, no, it it does nothing for me. Fair um, enough. And w- silver bells. What silver bells? Where are the where are these bells? <laughs> it's like the polar. Why are they bells. silver all the time? <laughs> That's not a thing I associate with Christmas. Yeah. Um, Ooh, honorary mention for favorite Christmas songs, like Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Like, that would be so cool to actually get to go see them live, like when they tour and do holiday. But which song? That is, that is the question. And why is it Wizards in Winter? Yes, because do you but, still picture the Because of the, the, house. the house, yes, yeah. with the yeah, lighting yeah. scheme, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was like back at the dawn of like viral videos being yeah. a thing. Yeah. Do you guys know what we're talking about? With, I'll, if I can find the video, I'll link it in the description. If you don't, yeah, you, it's pretty easy to find them. Probably Wizards in Winter, and it's a, a house doing a Christmas lights display. You could probably and just it's probably whatever it. one has like millions and millions of views at this point. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's <laughs> tons of them now. Yeah, but like um, the original, like I could still picture that original, like video and that's stuff. It's gonna be in my head now. I'm sorry, I'm not mad. No, I'm, I'm not do, mad do, either. Do, 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 do. I'm looking to see where we're at on time. Okay, we're doing good. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, if we got that stuck in your head, too. Uh, so, so good. Uh, do you usually put a star or an angel at the top of your Christmas tree, if you have a Christmas tree? We always did a, uh, an angel when I was a kid, and I always thought we were weird for having an angel. I wanted a star, because that's what they did on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, we have an angel now. 
It's uh, that angel's actually not on the tree, but no, but we have it. Yeah, I, this is funny. Should I bring this up in a live video discussion? Uh-oh. I kind of want to switch to a star. <laughs> Just I don't thought. have strong feelings. Like I said, uh, growing up, I always wanted a star anyway. So. There we go. Well, we will live out your childhood dreams. I like the, I like the angel we have. It looks good, but um, uh, yeah. I'm, you're not going to ruin my Christmas like you did when okay. you got a fake tree. <sighs> Ouch. <laughs> Bam! There it is. Oh, Been no. Been saving that one. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I should have, really. This is like, can your relationship survive <laughs> I told you not to bring it up. I warned you. <laughs> you did. I can't resist. I'll be on the couch tonight. Mm-hmm. At least it's comfy. <laughs> it's true. It's a very comfy couch. Um, have you ever kissed someone under the mistletoe? We haven't ever. No, I don't think so. Oh, probably when I was in high school. Oh, something. Yeah. Mistletoe. I don't like see mistletoe. I'm trying to remember how often I've been dating someone, and when I had a long-term relationship in high school, like at Christmas. Yeah, that went through Christmas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, but like, I'm trying to remember: was I even dating anybody at Christmas? Uh, not usually. No, not till you. Hmm. And then you were stuck with me. And then, yeah, it had to be you all the time. <laughs> had to be. <laughs> um, would you prefer that it snow on Christmas, or do you want it to stay, like, well, Southern California? <laughs> yeah, it's it? not like I have much of a choice. No, but did you like having, like, a white Christmas? I did like having a white Christmas. I remember that those... As long as it melts before I have to go to work. <laughs> uh, but when you were a kid, you weren't going to work. Like, it was... I liked the I liked the winter when I was a kid. We would go... We had... I grew up in Illinois. We usually got some pretty heavy snowfalls and mm. uh, go out and do, you know, the things kids do in snow, snowball fights and <laughs> the forts and uh, snow, building snowmen, you know, traditional kind of, you know, stuff, so... I, no, I, I liked it when I was a kid. Um, as an adult, it's terrible, and I that's why I live here. <laughs> yeah, we had just a few white Christmases uh, growing up because, like, I grew up in Ohio, and it was just, it was always a toss-up. Like, you never knew if, it, if you were going to have snow on Christmas. Um, but those Christmases that we did just felt really magical. And there was, there was a Christmas that we went back with the kids, and it was snowing. Uh, the day that we <coughs> celebrated Christmas there. I, th- I don't think it was actually Christmas morning. I think it was um, maybe a couple days after, just because of the timing um, with travel. But I remember, like, I still am picturing, like, the pictures that I took of the kids just being completely entranced by the snow. Because, I mean, they only see it when we go to Ohio. But it it just was so neat to have that on Christmas. It was like, oh, you're getting, like, a real Christmas experience. <laughs> In the Midwest with snow. Um, have you ever re-gifted something that some uh, someone gave you? Oh, probably. Mm. I did it today. I got something from the White Elephant gift exchange at work, and I came home and I gave it to you. <laughs> That's not my Christmas gift. <laughs> no. <laughs> you may not. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That just means I'm just going to go buy no, myself I some more have diamond paintings. Else. In fact, it probably came today. You didn't open it, did you? I haven't checked the mail today. Okay. There's like a massive pile of Amazon packages that I have not opened. So I'll just make sure we look at what's addressed to who. Um, I, I have re-gifted some things, I suppose. I'm more likely to just like if there's something that was given as a as a gift that I know I'm not going to use, I kind of will just like tuck it into my closet to like I don't know, pull out like if that person visits or asks about it, but then like by the next Christmas it's ended up in the donate pile. <laughs> just just move it along. Okay. Um Do you like to do do you prefer to do your holiday shopping online or in a physical store like do you like to go and browse and like see what jumps out at you um like oh this would be perfect for this person or do you prefer to like 
I don't know, shop online, which for me has the connotation of like, I am shopping from a list that someone has given me. <laughs> Sorry, can you ask the question again? I was busy reading about the um, uh, Apple's compressor 4.0 with Final Cut Pro. Work. Say again. Okay, so do you... I, I'm a, it's amazing that I've been able to listen, hear all the questions so far. Well, this one was a long one. That's what she said. Um, oh, boy. So, this is kid-friendly. This is kid-friendly. That's why I whispered it. So... <laughs> is that how that works? No. Children can't hear whispers? No. <laughs> uh, so, do you prefer to uh, shop for gifts, like, in-store? Like, go out and shop and be like, I just want to see, like, what jumps out at me. For for this per for the person that I'm shopping for, or do you prefer to just shop online? And in my head, like I associate shopping online with more like I'm shopping from a list. <laughs> uh, I mean, nowadays uh, there's so many like things that recommend different things, and like I mean Amazon obviously, but it's easy to kind of like browse online. Mm-hmm. Um, all things being equal, I would rather go to a store and walk around, honestly. Hmm. But anymore, that's like it's hard to find a store that you know has enough different stuff, and people oftentimes like, like if you want to get the best deal or get the best thing, and like you really want to you know do comparison shopping. I'm a comparison shopper, yes. as you can tell by the fact that I'm doing all this research right now. Um, so you know, I, I want to I want to know that I'm getting the right thing and that I'm you know, yeah. getting it a good deal and that I'm uh, you know. I want to do the best I can, and oftentimes you can't do that just by walking into a store anymore. Right. You really should, you know, look online. So, um, especially like a Target or something like that. Like, you know, they they might they'll have a lot of things, and you know, they can give you ideas. Like when I was a kid, I used to just walk through the store with members of my family, and they would tell me what they wanted, and then uh, like not just the thing, but like give me ideas. And then I might either come back later or do a round and without them and buy something. But uh, did you uh, ever have a toy catalog growing up? Like this, Sears often would send one out where you would flip through and you'd circle or point to like the things oh, that no. you liked. My my parents wouldn't let me near that. <laughs> they probably shredded it. Uh, no, like because we yeah no we we didn't uh, get you know plethoras of gifts. So we uh, um, I don't think my parents wanted us to be that greedy. Um, I don't think it necessarily means that you're greedy. Like that's, it's just, it's one way of giving ideas. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize to anyone I may have offended. You offended me. I, I wasn't, guys. I wasn't accusing anyone of being greedy. I've I'm seen, just saying. I've seen your Amazon wish list for Christmas. I, it's a wish list. It's, okay. So that, but that's what the catalog can be is a wish list. Like here's ideas. It's I ideas know, but it's all good. I'm going to circle all the name brand stuff. It's going to be really expensive. My parents were trying to get me things that weren't all just like toys at the moment. Sure. So, um, no, my parents which is totally what I would have picked. Sure. So. <laughs> Those commercials, darn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you like surprises or do you like to pick out what you're getting? Do you like surprises? Not both. Like, usually, like, I have specific things that I want. I want to get at least some of that. But, you know, if there's something that's, you know, useful or interesting or fun, I like, you know, I like getting fun fun stuff, too. Mm-hmm. If it's going to be a surprise, it's often, it's something that should be fun. Like, a, you know, a, a, like a peril or a, a, some other, like, item that's, like, like a novelty thing that's, like, somebody saw that I wasn't aware of. It's, like, yeah. fun. Um, um, but, uh I do often, you know, when I was growing up, I did have a list, and I generally wanted to get as much stuff from the list as I could. Um, but, uh, um, and I, you know, when I do make a list, I get really specific, because like I said, I do lots of research and pick things out. People know that about, the people who shop for me know that about me. Yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, like I said, a lot of times people get me stuff that's not on the list, and it's, you know, just as thoughtful or fun to get. So it's nice to be surprised. Yeah. So I like both. Yeah, for me, like, I was actually thinking about this specifically in regards to, like, diamond painting because I had, like, you know, a family member or friend or something say, like, oh, you know, I thought about trying to get you something diamond painting related because that's, like, your your main hobby and the thing that you really love the most. But they're, like, you're so into it, I would have absolutely no idea where to even start. Like, I'd almost just rather get you, like, a gift card to pick out something that you know that you will like and use. And I said, well, you're not totally wrong. Um, And I was like, I don't even know how I would begin to explain the concept of like drops to someone to be like, oh my gosh, it would be amazing if someone 
you know, surprised me with a pen from my favorite pen turner or something like that. But how do I explain to them like, no, they do drops like once a month and you have to be online at the specific time and you have to shop really fast. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Um, but that's just what that made me think of. <laughs> that, I'm like, that makes me really terrible to shop for in that sense. But, um, okay. What does your family usually eat for Christmas dinner? Since we don't, since we're always traveling for Christmas, like we don't, our little family unit doesn't really have like a traditional Christmas dinner. So like, what, did your family have a traditional Christmas dinner growing up? We always did Christmas ham. And we, um, were, we were often at my grandma's house and it was like potluck style where everyone was bringing like some sort of casserole or dessert. And then ham. It was always a Christmas ham. Um, I'm trying to think if there was a particular um, like usually we ate. You know, growing up we didn't often we didn't have Christmas dinner. Like that actually was like something I didn't learn was like a tradition. Honestly, until okay, um, I might have been an adult or close to adult by the time I realized that was a thing people did was sit down at Christmas dinner. Because when I saw that, I was thought that like on tv or whatever i was like why are they doing that that isn't that's like a thanksgiving thing <laughs> it looked like thanksgiving to me uh but when i got older we started doing nice christmas dinners um and um uh do we usually do the filet on yes, christmas the filet mignon parents, yeah yeah and your mom makes like green bean casserole and yeah. mashed potatoes and rolls when i was yeah, younger was we would have like a, a, a buffet style at my uh uh at relatives on my, yeah. I think usually both my dad's and my mom's side, or my mom's side it varied because it was massive, and what our uh, get-togethers looked like varied a lot. So we didn't always sure. have you know full meals, but uh, on my dad's side we usually you know when I was young that's what we did. Um, but uh, I don't remember you know specific cuisine. Sure. Well, spin off of this. What's your favorite kind of Christmas cookie? Anything your mom makes. Don't tell your mom that. Your mom she makes knows. really good Christmas. That's true. <laughs> my mom your would family, say the same yeah, thing. Like your family gets super excited when my mom. Oh, <laughs> there was. I cookies. thought we were going to fight. We were going to throw down one year. They I wouldn't let me have any. That. They were like, "You were just at her house. You stay out of this." <laughs> your, her mom is a fantastic dessert chef, um, and uh, not a, not professionally or anything, but she's just really good at it. Uh, and so anything she makes is delicious. Um, but she, those little cheesecake bites. Okay. Because yeah. I love cheesecake. Yeah. There's little cheesecake bites, and they have like a little crust on the mm-hmm. bottom, and they have a little cherry piece. Oh, they're so good. I bet she made some for you this year. Oh, it's going to be a problem. I'm on a diet <laughs> this year. <laughs> My favorite is um, they're called clothespin cookies. And it was a recipe that my mom had gotten from one of her aunts. I don't remember. If it was like a German recipe, or, I don't remember. Uh, but they're literally you wrap the dough and bake it. Um, you wrap it around a clothespin and bake it in the oven. Then you take it off the clothespins and then you fill it with this cream. There's so much Crisco involved in these cookies, but they are so good. I could eat them by the dozen. They are so delicious. They're really labor intensive to make. I've made them a couple of times myself, but they're so, 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 so labor intensive. It's going to be impossible to stay on my diet, isn't it? You know, it's, we'll, we'll, everything in moderation, right? (laughs) That didn't sound like an answer. No, I know. I I can't help you. I'm so excited about my mom's Christmas cookies. (laughs) Okay. We're getting close to the end here. Um, Let's see. Have you ever wanted to skip Christmas? <laughs> skip Christmas? I don't understand this question. I have follow-up this is questions. so sad. Why is this a question? No. I haven't ever no. wanted to skip Christmas. That's just sad. That's it? Um, yeah. Well, let me find one more to end this on like a happier note. <laughs> Why would you want to skip? I don't Ma- know. Probably, uh, probably just like there's like all the stressors and... Yeah. Stuff going on and travel. And if you have like and... a difficult like family dynamic or something. Oh, that, I, I think maybe you would say yes to that. Uh, me when we uh, originally had uh, like when, when we had like babies. babies. Yeah. Yes. There yep, are times that when is I, true. you probably just didn't want to deal with 
all yeah. the logistics. Oh my gosh. That like survival mode that you're in when you have like a newborn or a young infant. <laughs> it's like, I can't fly with a baby. We're going to be those people with a screaming child on the plane. Like it was, anyway, we survived. Um, <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. Barely. Um, I guess what would be like a good last question to kind of wrap this up? Um, I don't know. You want the questions? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm laughing because one of them says, "Recite one line from your favorite Christmas or holiday movie." <laughs> no, we've already we've yeah, already, already done that one. one. Um. Oh, well, this I guess this one works. Do you do pictures when you were growing up? Did you do pictures with Santa? Like, uh yeah, at the time I think they didn't like have all the packages and stuff you had to pay for. Like you could just okay. get pictures, just take pictures. Yeah. Um we didn't have a real good camera growing up. We had a camera though. Um My uncle was the camera guy. Still is the He still guy. is the camera guy. Everyone like groans. And everybody with me. complains and makes fun of them. <laughs> but then uh, we're always glad we have the family pictures. Yeah. So. Um the uh yeah, no, we have pictures with Santa. We definitely have lots of pictures with Santa. Yeah. I always look forward to seeing Santa. Did you do like Mall Santa or like Macy's? Yeah. yeah. Mall Santa. Yeah. I feel like we did Mall Santa to our kids have been really spoiled because for a couple of years when we had like Disney passes, we would do the Disney Santa. And that was really that was really special because they have like the whole backdrop and everything. And you could take pictures on your phone, like they're not making you buy pictures through them or anything like that. Um, but the lines for that, like, even when we would go super early in the season, it was like one of us would stand in line for the hour and a half or whatever while the other, like, took the kids to go run around because you try making a one-year-old wait in line for two hours. Yeah. But those are some great pictures, not the least of which reason being because one or both of the kids are screaming and (laughs) most of the pictures that we have with Santa... (laughs) We didn't do any Santa pictures last year, and we won't do any this year for rather obvious reasons, I think. But um, I could see us getting back to it once, you know, it's not so peopley outside. <laughs> not so peopley. Not so gross peopley outside. I, say, I think it's going to get more peopley. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. But um, thank you guys for spending some time with us on Christmas and or when you're watching the replay. I hope that this was fun and was a nice way to kind of um, keep you company uh, on Christmas Day. I will uh, link to the playlist or I'll try to find out who has the next video after mine down in the description so that if you want to keep hanging out in these Christmas premieres, um, it'll be easier for you to find the next one and and hop on over. But uh, thanks again to Pippa for organizing this. Super, super appreciate it. And thanks for, um, thanks to all of my fellow creators that have put these together. I hope that you all are having a safe, happy holiday. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and your loved ones and um, let us know how you're doing. This was fun. Thanks, Adam, for agreeing to come and hang out with me always <laughs> do fun. some tag questions yeah we'll make sure we have more of adam in the new year here on the channel which by the way if you're not already subscribed and want to see more from me it's you know diamond painting content and uh, occasional cameos from this guy <laughs> so feel free to subscribe i'd love to have you uh but otherwise we will let you go merry christmas happy new year happy every and any holiday that you might be celebrating um, we wish you all the best. Do I get to plug or no? Sure, go ahead and plug. <laughs> I won't plug all the things, but if you uh, uh, haven't followed me and you want to, uh, I'm uh, most active on Instagram uh, as uh, Han for Bond. That is uh, Han is in Han Solo, number four. Bond is in James Bond. Um, don't judge me. I like it. Um, <laughs> I'll li- I'll I share links. lots of uh, uh, just like normal kind of stuff uh you know day-to-day stuff but also like uh you know i try to do lots of uh like la based events and things and i have a lot of film projects going at any given time uh that i share about so 
Uh, yeah. I'll link to. I'll be sure to link to them below. Go check them out. All right. All right. Uh, we'll let you go, friends. Um, have a really wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.